Good morning, art friends. Today I'm going to show you how to roll paper beads for an Earth Day recycled paper necklace. For this project, you're going to need a glue stick or liquid glue, um, some type of stick, dowel, or skewer that you can roll the beads on, and some cut paper strips. I've already cut these to a triangular shape with a one inch base um, at the end, followed into a point. This is super easy and so much fun to do with fun shapes um, and colors of paper. You can use other shapes to make different types of beads, but I'm just going to show you the basic one today. So to start your bead, you just need to flip over your paper to the, I guess, kind of ugly side or the white side. If your paper has two tones on it, like some of the ones I have here, um, you can choose whatever side you want for the outside. So I'm just going to hold my stick a little bit from the end and I'm going to fold my paper over and I want to push that kind of tight. Now it does sometimes fall apart a little bit so you are going to have to hold on. Now before I go any further I'm going to get my glue ready to make sure my bead will hold together. I'm simply going to tuck and roll the bead and the paper. Now, the trick is to keep the paper as lined up as possible. We don't want our bead going all different locations. Every so often, I'm going to put some glue and keep rolling. A little more glue all the way to the end. You want to make sure you're pulling your bead as tight as you can. This will ensure that your bead stays together really well. You might need a little extra glue at the end just to put down that tail. When you're all done with your bead, make sure to smooth it out and you can pull it off your stick and you have a beautifully made paper bead. Now you're gonna probably have about I'd say 10 to 20 beads you're going to make, depending on how big you want your bracelet or your necklace. When you're all done with your beads, you can put them back in your bag. If you'd like them coated with a special shiny material to help make them a little bit more waterproof, you can just let your teacher know, and they will help you do what needs to be done. I hope you have a lot of fun making this project, and happy Earth Day!